after I had been subpoenaed uh, and received the subpoena, I sought for three months to find non-Trump world affiliated counsel. Mm -hmm. Coming from Trump world, I knew, or I was at least very confident from knowing the experiences of, of other people that they will give you free counsel. It just comes with non-defined strings attached, <laughs> uh, which is the a, a sense of loyalty and loyalty to the to Mr. Trump. Um, you know, I didn't have, I didn't come from family wealth, uh, which is not a disadvantage at all. You know, it, I, it, but I, again, I, I sought to find non a Trump world affiliated counsel. I didn't have luck. I went through two deposition sessions with Trump world affiliated counsel where I didn't feel empowered to tell the whole truth and to tell everything that I knew and to be completely forthcoming. There were pages of my deposition transcripts that were published and I remember, read, it was in early April, and I remember reading through them. Uh, and it was just this really difficult, probably one of the darkest moments of this experience, or even probably my life, because I, in the experience, you know, I, I had seen where I had not answered questions more truthfully and it started to hit me like a wall and but beyond that too I had become someone that I never thought that I was going to become I took a job in public service because I believe in our country I believe in our democracy and I believe that we need to elect people that are responsible and that will uphold our values and we need to have people that work for those elected officials that are also willing to make that sacrifice because the sacrifice isn't sacrificing something if you're standing up for what our country is set up to stand for. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, not really knowing what to do, I reached out to you, Alyssa, and you were, you know, I, I try not to get emotional, but I, uh, you, I, I reached out to you, and I, in my mind at least, you had no reason to open your door to me or to respond to me. You, we had been in somewhat different worlds. I had done wrong and Alyssa had done right for so long. And I didn't feel that I was deserving of her support. But immediately after I reached out, she texted back. I went to her house one night and she just opened the door. <laughs> and it, for me, like looking back, it's almost a cinematic moment of, it was my first step back to the right side of history. And... <laughs> And I just, I just, I, I want that to be noted, though, for the record. And I'm, I'll shut up after this, I promise. But uh, it's, I just think it's so important because you opened that door for me, which then opened doors for me to be more truthful and for me to come forward with more information. But it was that first step of having somebody offer me forgiveness and offer me their hand and guidance in all of this. And that's, you know, in writing this book, that's what I've hoped to accomplish and what I've hoped to at least open people's minds to you. Again, like I did not have a perfect path. I've made a lot of mistakes that I am not proud of and many I wish I could take back. But it's because of Alyssa and because of Liz Cheney and their courage to step forward and not only to take me in, but to stand for what is right. Um, is why we are here today.